What's up guys? I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. I hope everyone is having a beautiful day today as well. is watching this video and you are new here to my channel I want to welcome you to my channel my name is Akila and today I'm going to be touching on a very touchy um, subject I um, kind of want to basically base this around something that I just recently um, went through about a week ago and I wanted to come on and share with you guys you know what happened over the past week um, and I also was hoping that some of my family members on my dad's side would also be watching this video because I do have a message for them um, and this would actually be the speech that I didn't get to give so let me go ahead and jump right into what I want to say so to start off with this video I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys know um, that I did just recently lose one of my aunts just last week uh, we just actually had her funeral last week as well on um, Thursday, which I believe was October 26th. Um, Thursday, October the 26th is when we had the um, funeral on. And I mean, it was very, it was very sad, of course. I mean, no passing is a joyful thing, even though honestly it should be. But just the simple fact that, you know, everyone cries everyone sheds tears and no one is ever really happy to see a loved one go but I kind of have a little story or background around you know why I felt the way I did you know losing um, my aunt um, so I just kind of wanted to give everyone um, the background on that so basically about when I was I would say maybe between 9 and 12 I can't really remember the specific age that I was at the time that all of this you know went on but my grandpa on my dad's side he had um, left and moved he moved away to Florida at that time when he had moved away to Florida um, I hadn't seen him in years since he had moved away I've seen him twice um, so I got to see him when I first had my daughter Naya um, at that time when I saw him, Naya was only a month old and I was only 17 years old. Uh, for those who did not know, I had my daughter when I was um, 16. I turned uh, 17 a week after. So at the time that he had came back in town to visit, I had saw him. I was at age 17. My daughter was one month old. So you can see the big gap right there where it's like four or five years, maybe, maybe seven years. Because again, I don't know how, I can't remember exactly how young I was when he did leave. So, and then for him coming or returning back in town for my aunt's funeral is when I got to see him the second time that I mentioned. So, when my grandpa left, not only that with my grandpa, you know, leaving and moving out to Florida, and my dad no longer is located in Virginia, um, my dad actually lives in Georgia. So, with having my grandpa and my dad so far away, hundreds and hundreds of miles away, it made it hard for me to stay in contact with pretty much my dad's side of the family my dad's dad's side of the family um so a lot of my aunts and a lot of my cousins i haven't seen them in years and when i say years i literally mean the last time we were all probably around each other i was maybe about 10. can't remember the exact age because everything happened so long ago but um so back to what I was saying um so with him, with them two being you know so far away I was really distanced from all of my aunts I have six aunts on my dad's side um and which is my grandpa um children his six girls and I have great aunts I have cousins some of them I know very well some of them I don't and it was just so sad because I remember at one point when I did go to visit the side, um, the family, like one of my great aunts, she didn't really even remember who I was. I had to explain, you know, to her who I was. And then once she saw me, she was like, okay, yeah, I remember you. And everybody on that side of the family used to call me Shamama. 
I know, funny nickname, right? But, you know, and a lot of them still call me that, but just to give a little background on the situation, like, I hadn't seen any of my aunts, my cousins, um, on that side of the family for years, and including my grandpa, I haven't gotten to see him in years, so being around all of them was very emotional. Um, I didn't show my emotion. And I'm not going to show my emotion in this video, get you guys. I'm going to try my best not to cry because I don't want you guys to see me cry. But yeah, anyway, so um, when we attended the funeral, you know, they gave us the opportunity to basically get up there and, you know, give a little two to three minute speech about my aunt. Um, you know, maybe share some memories, some laughter, you know, any any type of memory you have where you are going to be able to get up there and speak. So... I honestly did want to take the opportunity to get up there and give like a two to three minute speech. Um, it wasn't going to be, you know, just uh, surrounding the passing of my aunt, but my message to my family that I originally wanted to give up there was, I know a lot of you guys may not remember me, or if you do remember me, I know you guys have not seen me in years. and. I apologize about that from the bottom of my heart. I know that, you know, we can't rewind time, and although I wish that we can. I would love to have spent more time with my aunt before passing because, again, I had not seen her since I was, like, a little girl when I was still um, attending Mount Olivet Baptist Church. Um, that was back when I was, I would say, about 10 as well, so I hadn't saw my aunt in a very, very, very long time. Um, I recently had lost my uncle as well, and with losing him, I didn't even know too much about his passing until after it was all done and over with, so that means I didn't get to attend the funeral. I didn't get to see family members on that day. My grandpa came in town for that as well, but I didn't get to see him then, so I mean, that was very heartbreaking. But I am very thankful that I was made aware of my aunt's passing a lot sooner than I was for my uncle, which basically allowed me to be there and see that side of the family that I have not seen in years. So, um, I pretty much say all of that, you guys, to say this, that I hope it all gets better. Um, I hope that I can become closer to that side of the family without you know, having to have my dad or my grandpa around. I mean, that would make it a lot easier, you know, to get back close to with that side of family. I must say, I, I miss them. I mean, and I still love all of them with all of my heart. I mean, that did not change. I just wish to have had more time with them. Because life is short, you guys, and you really don't know when it's going to be your time. And it's, it's very sad because it seems like now, and I'm trying not to cry y'all, so. But it's very sad because it seems like now the only time family members get together is surrounding a passing. And surrounding a passing of a loved one or the wedding of loved ones and I don't think it should be that way um, we should all want to stay remain close to all family and friends keep that close knit relationship you know basically keep things going because you just never know when your time is going to be up and God is coming I don't know how many of you may believe in it may not but he's coming Life is getting short. It's a lot of things going on in the world that was mentioned in the Bible as far as the sequence leading up to when God will be coming down. So I just say all this to any, any of my family that's watching. I just hope to rebuild a better relationship with you guys on that side. Especially building that relationship with, you know, especially with my aunts. Um, most definitely, number one priority on my list is try to build a better relationship with them, get more close with them again because again we just we just don't know you you just don't know when it's going to be your time you guys so i mean that's pretty much what i want to say and i just hope that we all come closer and hopefully the next time i see them won't have to be at anyone's funeral in the family um so i mean at this moment i don't want to make this video too long you guys so i just kind of wanted to give you guys you know some insight on how I was feeling um, I wanted to give you guys an insight on what I went through over the past week 
but May. So I also wanted to put that message out there to my family. I want you guys to know I love you, and I hope that we can become closer. Again, I mean, I don't know what it may take. I just hope everyone can put in the effort to stay closer. Um, I have one of my aunt's phone numbers. I'll definitely make sure I be in touch with her to check on everyone else. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of them follow me on social media. So if my family member, if you follow me on social media, if you want to check up on me, feel free to jump right in my inbox and ask for my phone number. I'll be glad to give it to you guys. Um, to my dad's side of the family, I love you guys. Um, so I'm going to pretty much wrap the video up right there, you guys. If you guys want to see more of my life as Lady Bam outside of YouTube, feel free to follow my social media account. I will drop those down below. You can also check the description box where you can find the links to my social media accounts as well. To all my newbies, I actually hope you guys decide to stay and click that red subscribe button to become a part of Life is Lady Bam fam. If you like this video, you guys, please leave me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment down below. And I will see you guys this weekend.